hi welcome back to rebecca's travels so if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi how are you all doing i hope everybody's as well as possible it was sunny and um average uh, temperatures earlier on now it's uh, gone more dull and cloudy but it is still dry uh, which is a good thing hi if you're new here to my channel please subscribe and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so i really appreciate it uh, today i'm going to be doing budget travel 10 exciting destinations at uh, september 2023 part one this is according to kayak co.uk so i'm going to give you um the 10 um best exciting budget destinations uh, to travel to and uh, coming in at number one is um, Galancia, northern Spain. Galancia is known for its seafood and uh, caught and delivered straight from the net to the table. You can stay at uh, Figo, a romantic old prophet. Uh, old capital um on a, a hillside that will remind you if you've been to san francisco or you've seen it on the movies um, um it has um a harbour district um it looks uh, lovely on photos the harbour especially charming and well stocked with cafes and bars the best time to visit is between april and october uh, for clear sunny days it is worth though uh, taking a brolly just in case it does rain so um the weather could be again a bit like the uk this country and um, it could be a sunny day or it could rain so it's worth definitely taking a umbrella or brolly um just in case it does rain and um, it is worth well the average spend of a coffee is one pound nineteen. A uh, three-course meal for two uh, for thirty pounds. Accommodation is seventy-five pounds a day per person. There's uh, the free activities are hiking and Cat Ross Beach. Um, there's the Cathedral de Santiago de Compostela. Excuse my and Morella de Lugo, excuse my pronunciation. And um, so again, if you're looking for a destination that's not too far away, then um, to travel to uh, from the UK, then Galactica, Northern Spain is um, a good one to visit, whether you're um, going there on a coach or uh, flying or uh, or going by boat cruise and then you could go to Galactica that way so there's lots of ways of getting there and um, number two Saranda Albania is located along the Albanian Riviera a brand new tourist destination for those on a showstring budget and um, the beaches are pristine and you can get a caught fish for just a few euros and um, the best time to visit is between april and october the average daily spend is 50 pounds a good meal will cost you around five pounds and that is absolutely brilliant um free uh, there's free activities the beach uh, go for a stroll on 
Hassan Tirana Boulevard, a beautiful pedestrian seaside walk-in that lies on the north shore of the Little Bay. As a San Durana also, um, if uh, to visit um, Lucarassi Castle, so that's also worth visiting. Um, number uh, three. Scopia, excuse my pronunciation, which is in North Macedonia, the country, arguably the cheapest country in Europe, is emerging as a popular tourist destination for 2023. Um, Skiope, uh, excuse my pronunciation, is at the capital city in North Macedonia. That archaeological sites fortress historical monuments and um you, uh, you can uh, walk around and um, the best time to visit april to september average spending is 45 pounds a uh, free activities um visit the memorial house of mother Teresa and uh, take a trip up um, to fortress Cali um, if you're looking for some free activities and um, number four Cato Montenegro and um, if you are um, a fan of Croatia which I've been to and it's a beautiful country and um, I've been to Porak or Porridge you call it and I would extremely recommend visiting because it was absolutely gorgeous uh, to absolute uh, the scenery and uh, the town and I'd really recommend it then go to Montenegro and um, if you like Croatia, Montenegro should be next on your uh, to-go list. Uh, these two countries are very similar, apart from the prices, which are um, far lower in Montenegro than what they are in Croatia. And um, the picturesque coastal town of Co. Kato, excuse my pronunciation, is like a fairy tale charm about it. Um, so does Porak and um, Croatia. It does have a, a fairy tale charm about um, the town. Um, the medieval old town is a uh, protected um, UN E. SEO World Heritage Site explored the narrow winding streets um, high on the hills or the beautiful bay of Qatar or Qatar amazing landscapes to hike and um, the best time to visit is May to September average spend is £75 free activities um, include where well, you can walk around the bay of Kato, admire the boats and the cruise ships, uh, visit the Prejazara Alder Arms or take a trip uh, to um, the beach um, so you can walk around or along the beach or take a, a trip to the beach um, uh, for free activities and uh, number five um, is the high tatras at uh, Slovakia fans of the great outdoors and fancy something a bit more active then uh, consider the high tatras which is very affordable and jam-packed with amazing um, hiking and climbing opportunities located nearly entirely within the borders of Slovakia it, it's um, the smallest alpine 
mountain range in the world wow um, but with 30 stunning peaks the tall mountainous resort and um, has low prices and um, high tatras alpine views um, are 10 to penny a bear costs two pounds wow R uh, really good value a, me a meal is costing around six pounds which is really good value for money the best time to visit is uh, june to september for beautiful hiking opportunities december uh, to april for skiing average daily um spend trips start as low as just 40 pounds if per person for you to go um, uh, for a group trip and uh, free activities include walking hiking and climbing so if you enjoy something uh, more active or you want to go on um, a trip for just 40 pounds then uh, per person then again um, consider Slovakia and um, in the mountains and uh, number six is um, Warsaw which is Poland's capital Poland's capital is considerably cheaper to fly to and uh, enjoy ideal if you are looking for a more edgy and complex experience cobbled streets and historical architecture monuments the old town took um, um, the old town looks something um, out of a fairy tale uh, do not forget to sample the um fantastic dumplings um best time to visit june and um august average daily spend 60 pounds and you will get change from 10 pounds uh, from a meal which again is still um reasonably good value for money and um, free activities at Warsaw um, includes um, a museum and to check out the sites of the 15th century royal castle a presidential palace and um, King Suckerman III was a column um, so yes, Warsaw, it seems like an exciting uh, place to visit um, in Poland. Um, number seven, if you want to go a little more further afield, then Hungada, Egypt, the Red Sea. Diving is a magic, it's supposed to be a magical experience. A catastrophic array of marine life awaits you beneath the surface. A boat ride, um, away is uh, the Thai Mohammed National Park a small entrance fee of four pound which is considered one of the most spectacular places um, to view the reef in the world the best time to visit is between April and October uh, for the highest temperatures um, obviously go out of season if you are not going to light at the high temperatures the average daily spend is approximately 60 pounds a beer of a coffee i would imagine that would be a lot of coffee will set you back at around one pound and um, a average at uh, three star hotel will cost you approximately 33 pounds which again it a night which is really good for a three star hotel 33 pounds a night for saying you're getting a comfortable hotel there's free activities and um, you can paddle in the water you can try snorkeling relax in um Zentuna beach at uh, while el min ya Maja Majadard Mosque and um, you can visit the mosque as well for free um, El Mina Majad um, a 
um, again if you're looking to go further afield again then the Dominican Republic the Caribbean white sandy sandy beaches turquoise blue water and um, relax in a shade of tropical palms as everything in the evening um, for, uh, for of, of you can basically relax uh, fully with um, a fruity cocktail in the evening the best time to visit is between November and April um, again because it could get um, extreme very hot especially for some people in the summer and um, average and and um, it's also cheaper to go out of season then in season average uh, daily spend is a hundred pounds average meal for two will cost you about 30 pounds with a uh, hotel rain weighing in roughly 50 pounds a night um the the off the free activities it's all about the beaches really less well known mac Cedo, excuse my pronunciation, beach or play a dorada for a family friendly beach. So it, the free activities really accentuate uh, round uh, if it's included in your resort costs um, or basically the beach. Um, number nine at Riga Latvia um, if you want to travel to Eastern Europe again uh, visit the Old Town and Central Market A-U-N-E-S-C-O heritage site nightlife is considered amongst the best in Eastern Europe with sophisticated bars restaurants and clubs open all through the night best time um, to visit is april to october average spend is 71 pounds uh, for hotel uh, meals and transport and um two pounds 65 is for the average beer free activities visit the orthodox cathedral or try the Latvian War Museum also Riga offers a handful of free walking tours so plenty of free activities um, in that place Riga Latvia to go and visit and last on the list and um, again if you're wanting um, to visit a far away uh, place um, from the UK which is number 10 Kerala India often considered uh, one of the 10 paradises of the world we recommend staying on a houseboat to soak up and um, the real atmosphere of Kerala oozing through the narrow uh, lush green canals from Alpe Koshari or called Volalam is a real experience the best time to visit is between October and February when the weather is cooler the average daily spend you will get changed from at 20 pounds for meals and um, transport and accommodation so um, again that, uh, that's a um, really good price especially if you get in change for 20 pounds on accommodation free activities and um, visit the Kavalam and the stunning Morari beach explore um, the Mato Petty dam or check out some of the um, many temples including Shri Pad Mara Wame excuse my pronunciation so I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow uh, for my travel and my lifestyle 
uh, channels um, improvements updates and more so have a good day and night wherever you are in the world and thank you and bye for now thank you bye